Hi everyone. Last week I shared a stepped up cottage wreaths Christmas card idea with lots of texture and layers and sparkle. But what if you have a very busy life and you're just looking for one simple idea that you can use over and over to create beautiful Christmas cards this year? Well, that's what I'm going to show you on this video today. Shall we get started? If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Be sure to watch all the way through my video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get going on this easy Christmas card idea. The Cottage Wreaths bundle is perfect for creating simple holiday cards like I'm going to show you today. You can make wreaths for tags, cards, and for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. These wreaths look lovely when they're paired with the festive greetings in this set, but you don't have to use the greetings. You can just use the wreaths and make them suitable for any occasion you want just by changing the color scheme. Now the dies include wreaths, so you can stamp and die cut out the wreaths in the stamp set. You can cut out leaves, bows, and lots of other fun elements to use on your cards. So I'm going to use this bundle to show you how you can create a simple Christmas card to make multiples of them to help you with your very busy life. I'm going to start off with a layer of shaded spruce. This is one of the colors that's going to be in the designer series paper that I'll show you in a minute. I am going to take the little holly stamp, it's a really tiny one, and I'm going to use a Versamark and I am going to ink this stamp up and I'm going to stamp it several times. I'm going to turn it so that it looks like these leaves might be falling down off the tree. You want to keep them somewhat evenly spaced and then just provide a little bit of visual interest to the layer. Now I've decided that my card base is going to be basic white and I did this deliberately. Most of the cards that I mail each Christmas season are to people overseas. So it adds quite a cost to my mailing if I have lots of layers on my card. So rather than use a colored card base and then have to put a layer of basic white inside for maybe a stamped phrase and for me to write a greeting, for my overseas cards, I try and stick to basic white as my layer so I don't have to worry about the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this layer down on the card front. The key to this simple layout idea is to get a pack of Boughs of Holly paper. These beautiful papers embrace the classic emerald green and rich reds that we love to see at Christmas time with poinsettia, holly, and evergreen motifs. So I'm going to show you how to use strips of these patterns to make many easy holiday cards. So this is the pattern that I've chosen for this particular holiday card layout. Keeping in mind, you can use strips like this from all the other patterns in this paper, which helps you create multiples that look a little bit different each time. So I'm going to take my stamp and seal and I am going to adhere this strip down on the left side of my card front. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in a square of basic white and I've chosen this wreath image from the Cottage Wreath stamp set and I'm going to use Garden Green to match the cardstock color that I've chosen and I'm going to ink up the wreath and stamp it down. Now what's really cool about the way that this particular stamp was created is you're going to end up with lights and darks. So it looks already like 
it's layered, but it's not. It's just one single stamp that's inked and stamped down onto basic white. So when you're thinking about making multiples this year, once you have several of these squares cut, you can ink and stamp and ink and stamp and ink and stamp, kind of like an assembly line. Now what I want to do next is I want to bring in my real red and I've chosen the Merry Christmas phrase from the stamp set and I'm going to ink it with real red and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of this wreath. Like so. A little bit crooked, but that's okay. Now what I want to do is bring in a layer of real red and I want to adhere my wreath layer down on top of the real red. And next I want to take this layer and I want to add it to my card base like so. I think I'm going to put mine right in the middle visually the best way that I can and there we go. There we go. The layer is already on the card and it's literally ready to pop into a decorated envelope and send to somebody special this year. But I'm going to add just a few more details that don't take a lot of time. The first is I'm going to bring back my real red and in the same stamp set there's these little berries. So I'm going to ink them with real red and I'm going to stamp four of them onto my wreath. Now that just adds another little bit of depth and visual interest. In the die pack that I showed you at the beginning of the video, there are these four leaves so what I thought I would do is take my card up just another layer. I'm going to die cut four shaded spruce leaves and I'm going to add them to my card front. So this is what they look like when they're die cut. So I did this before the video. I started taping the video. And what I want to do is just add these down, glue them down, and add just a little bit of texture. Now you do not have to do this at home if you are super busy and you just wanna stamp and go, but if you wanna elevate your card just a touch, this is one way to do this. So I'll stop the video, I'll adhere these down, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside to dry for a minute, and in the same stamp set, there's a bow. So I have a scrap piece of basic white lying around, and I'm going to stamp the bow and then I'm going to die cut it using one of the dies that comes in the die pack. And then I'm going to add that to add just a touch of interest again to my card. Once again, I wanna stress though, you do not have to do all of this. You can just stamp and go. But I have a little bit of time and I think it's fun to play a bit. So I'll die cut this out and I'll come back and show you where I'm going to add it to my card. And here's what the bow looks like. So I went ahead and put a couple of mini Stampin' Dimensionals on the back and I'm going to add my bow like that. And now it's time to talk embellishments. Now I've decided that I'm going to use some iridescent pearls basic jewels and I'm going to use some of the larger ones and I'm going to add them to the flowers that are already showing a center in the designer series paper. And maybe I'll use just a small one, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I'll put a small one in the center like that. I like to use an uneven number of embellishments on my cards. If you'd like to see a stepped up Cottage Wreaths Christmas card idea, why not watch this video next? And if you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers and a list of all the things that I used, I will link to my blog article in the description box underneath this video. You can link over there, you can see what I used, how I cut everything out, 
And I'll also add the product ordering numbers in case you want to order this bundle and paper to make a bunch of holiday cards this year. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.